Correcting kyphosis using the mesorail deformity spinal system from K2M. Complex spine innovations. This module demonstrates a Sherman's kyphosis correction using a dual rail correction. This correction technique features the mesorail deformity spinal system. The mesa screws are low profile implants. The screws feature zero torque technology, requiring no torque for final locking. Polyaxial screws are anchored proximally, and deformity uniplanar screws are used throughout the rest of the construct. Place deformity crickets bilaterally on the upper part of the curve. Due to the inherent beam like design, the rail provides enhanced rigidity and strength to aid in the restoration of thoracic kyphosis while maintaining a low profile. The shape of the rail makes it stiffer than a standard rod, but it can still be used with the same Mesa deformity screws. A 5.5 cobalt chrome rail is equivalent to a 7.65 stainless steel rod in the sagittal plane and a 6.35 rod in the coronal plane. A 5.5 titanium rail is equivalent to a 6.35 stainless steel rod in the sagittal plane and a 5.3 rod in the coronal plane. Pre-bend the rail into the sagittal plane. Mesa rail deformity crickets allow for 27 mm of controlled reduction and spread the forces across the construct during correction. Insert both rails through the proximal crickets in the desired sagittal alignment. Fully reduce the top two crickets bilaterally to set a proximal foundation. Once the top crickets are fully reduced, place crickets bilaterally along the construct on as many levels as it is possible to capture the screw head. Then slowly work the crickets down to reduce the spine. Once the spine is reduced enough for a cricket to engage the next screw head, then place the next cricket in the sequence. Continue reducing the crickets. Soon the more proximal levels will be fully reduced. In order to help reduce the kyphosis, compression can be used bilaterally on the construct. As crickets are fully reduced at each level, Compress the fully tightened proximal cricket and the slightly loose cricket on the next level until the desired position is achieved. Then fully reduce the loose cricket to hold the compression. Continue to work down the spine in this progression, adding crickets to the distal end as they're able to capture the rail above the screw heads and compressing off the proximal crickets. This sequence should continue until crickets have been added bilaterally at every level and the levels through the apex of the curve have been compressed. Ensure that all the crickets are fully reduced. Next, use the Superfly to partially lock each Mesa screw. Remove the crickets and final lock each screw with the Quick Locker to complete the construct. The Mesa Rail Deformity System from K2M Complex Spine Innovations.